Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to EGL6 here in Stockholm. We are in the grand final with Skitlight Finland versus Enigma. It's currently 4-3 on maps to Skitlight, and I am Brycey, and I am here with Ben Bowman. Say hello, Ben. Hello, stream. This is an absolutely fantastic grand final. I think it was always going to come down to these two teams, Skitlight versus Enigma. It's 4-3 to Skitlight Finland right now, and... It doesn't matter what game type, what game mode. It really, really makes a difference. These two teams are pretty much inseparable. Obviously, Skitlight Finland have beaten Enigma twice already in this tournament, so there is a lot of pressure on them to make sure they don't choke the third time. But Enigma, in that CTF that we saw, they just really went out organs blazing, desperate to try and beat Skitlight for the first time in this tournament. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you could do me and Ben a wonderful favour and tweet the stream out for us, that would be very much appreciated as we obviously try to boost this numbers for an amazing grand final. So I will point out, at EGL Pro is doing a competition at the moment to win 2,100 Microsoft points. So give them a follow and obviously retweet that message to win. Um, like I said, if you want to follow our caster this weekend, the wonderful Roy G, R-O-Y-Y-Y-G, he's been doing it for that. Uh, obviously, Ben, who is commentating with me, is link underscore King Benson. I'm not sure what that King part is. I think he's lying. Uh, <laughs> mine is Bryce Tacular, B-R-I-C-E-T-A-C-U-L-A-R. And if you didn't get that, I'm sure Ben will now throw it in the stream chat for you. Yeah, um, I already did. <laughs> yeah, he already did. We'll do it again. It's not acceptable. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll keep. I'll continue doing it. But I have to say, Finland right now are looking like Finland for the Winland. So many people want me to say it in the strat, so I've gone ahead and said it. It's a bit of a mouthful, but they do look in a very strong place right now. There's a lot of support in the chat for Skitlight, but as well as a lot of support for Enigma. And the next map is going to be CTF on Arcade, and, and it is just going to be so close. I can just see it. Yeah, every single time these two teams play Capture the Flag, it just comes down right to the wire. So I'm sure we're going to see it again. Neither team giving the other one an inch. A one map each uh, they've won in this grand final now. Obviously bring it to 4-3 overall. This is a best of 11, first to six. It's going to be so, so close. I mean, I'm so excited to see the next game. It's been every single time we've watched both Enigma and Skit, like they've done things that impress us pretty much every single map they've done something to sort of get everyone excited about they've pulled out some clutch plays and as what I think needs to happen though is Enigma need to really settle down and play the normal Call of Duty that we're used to seeing them do it just seems that Skitlight seems to be one of the only teams that can sort of tweak the way Enigma play and, and sort of dis disrupt Enigma's pattern I guess you could say and it really makes them feel a little bit more uncomfortable and that's when we start seeing Enigma make a few mistakes yeah, it is how we've seen them play very very often. On uh, They tend to play, this is quite a slow burning Enigma team. Uh, the whole way through this tournament, we've seen Enigma play, uh, it's either when they play capture the flag, they like to lock down, have a passive AR, and then use their, uh, their, their ARs to just sort of lock the map down before they even pull. Um, and in Search and Destroy, they like to line up, essentially, and just sort of play a zonal, uh, a controlling game. But as soon as it gets broken down and fast and furious, they, they can't really deal with it. Yeah, it's been the story throughout the entire tournament with Enigma. They are, like you say, very slow burning. They just like to take their time, check as many corners as possible. And in certain cases, it does cost them, and especially against the likes of Skitlight. Skitlight are one of the only teams that we've seen that are able to really get under the skin of Enigma and really make them pay. But so far, it's been a fantastic tournament, a great final so far, and I'm really anticipating this next game. Yeah, so am I. I've enjoyed watching these two teams all weekend. And like I said, we have been doing this all weekend, so if my voice cracks again, I'm really sorry. Yes, same with me. You can appreciate doing this all weekend. is quite tough on the old vocal cords and, you know, been drinking as much water as possible. I'd say water, yeah, yeah. water, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Roy, Roy has definitely been testing my patience this weekend. I know, yeah, tell me about it. I mean, <laughs> that Roy, what are we going to uh, do with him? I don't really know. He just, he just disrespect. You know what's the worst thing is when he puts us back on stream without, without telling us. Yeah, that Cheers, is most Roy. funny. Yeah, thanks for that, Roy. It's like, Roy, give us a countdown. You're on. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the next game is going to get underway. It is going to be CTF on Arcaden, and like I said, this is going to be a really, really amazing game. I, I expect it to be really close. But once again, the question is, how are Enigma's ARs going to play? If they play on form, Enigma play it extremely well. We saw it on the last CTF, and let's just hope we can see it again right now. Yeah, we are on board with Skitlight. Going into this, Arkadon captured the flag in this grand final. It's going to be very interesting to see. Obviously, Skitlight coming off a win at the moment. Yeah, Skitlight are going to have that confidence. They have just taken that SD. I'm on board with Sambi right now. He's going to make his way at hold. Going to try and get that nade off a tree. He did just see someone. 
but a few kills being exchanged early on, nothing much yet, no two pieces or three pieces, but Sambi just looks like he's going to try and patrol a little bit, doesn't need to do anything, and oh, Sambi gets very lucky indeed, teammate saving his life, that would have been very embarrassing if he just walked straight past without realising, but Dizzy does get that nade off, FMF kills Dizzy, and Zeb kills Mofja, lots of kills being exchanged yeah. so far. Very intense already in this, and you know what? I am feeling the land hype. I am several hundred miles away, but I am bouncing <laughs> in my seat for this game. I can feel the excitement from here. Obviously, we are watching some incredible Call of Duty this weekend. I think, you know what? People were complaining about the size of this tournament. But, uh, you know what? The skill level is definitely quality over quantity. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the things we've seen this this land has been absolutely it's something to shout about. We've seen so many clutch plays, so many big kills and three pieces, four pieces, etc. It's been absolutely amazing. Still, though, we haven't actually seen a one versus four clutch in S and D. So hopefully, this grand final can provide us with one of them that will definitely give us something to shout about. Yeah, it should be really, really interesting. But neither team managing to pull anything so far. One minute thirty something gone in this game, and it looks like Junaz is just holding off that spawn. Yeah, it just doesn't really look like either team wants to just go out there too aggressive. And finally now, Skitlight getting a few plays down. And this is where we're going to see Junos be very aggressive. Jumps the corner, takes down Zebi. And can he get the second? Yes, he can. That is a nice, nice play by Junos. And it looks like he's actually going to try and get this pull. And he could be away here. Yeah, dynamite play there from Junos. Obviously, he's not going to run it as they are going to spawn bottom burgers. But no, manages to get away. Loxy taking down one. Sammy taking down Zemi. This is going to be there. They're going to be so close to the plate. Oh. And he is taking down, but Loxy going for the clutch. And this could be a complete counter cap here. Oh, does not manage to get it. Henke taking him down. And Mofja is right by the back of that flag. Yeah, lots of pressure on Mofja. He was able to actually stick Henke there. But, I mean, that was massive, massive play there by Joxy. He managed to get himself all the way back into Skitlight's flag and stop that flag cap. Very, very nice play coming from Enigma there. But Skitlight was so very close to actually capping that. That is going to give them a little bit more confidence now. They actually managed to get Enigma on that back foot as Sambi does just get naded. He is going to see someone else and gets dropped by Henke. And Henke manages to sponge that nade. He could pull this and be away if FMF isn't careful. FMF spraying there, but he has missed him. And he gets taken oh. down in a reply. This a going huge here. And Enigma have now put the pressure on and that flag is away. Sambi the only one out and he gets taken oh. down as well. All of Skitlight down and they're going to go for the relay. Yeah, they've gone for that relay. They've managed to cap one. FMF is going to be in hot pursuit, though. But I'd be amazed if he can get anywhere near that as Enigma just had them completely trapped. And literally, that is what this map can be like. In the blink of 20 seconds, two flags kind of gone. And, oh, FMF doing nice work. Just getting Joxy out of green. Just stopping him dictate the spawns. And now Skit, like, really needs to just recompose. He's going to see someone front bar. Does take him down. That is going to be three players down. And FMF now can try and pull this flag. Yeah, FMF can be very aware of that. He's getting stunned on, but hasn't been hit. Oh no, Zebi dropping him here. That accuracy from Zebi just pulling off an amazing shot to stop it. Monster pulling off a two piece. Looks like they're going to try and run this flag again. Sambi covering, but no, they've slowed down a little bit. Yeah, it just seems that, that the way Enigma play when they just slow it down, they, they force Skitlight like, to play at their own pace. And this is exactly what we're talking about. This is the Enigma we really like to see as FMF actually takes down Sambi, his own teammate and then takes down Dizzy, but Zeb is going to respond, and so is Jox with a two-piece, and again, pressure on Skidlight. Yeah, it's interesting to see, this was actually the, the other way round when we watched them play in the uh, winner's bracket, uh, so it's interesting to see just how it's much he's changed in this grand final. Enigma actually doing worse than the S&Ds, but playing better at the capture of the flags. Yeah, it has just completely rotated around, but I'm on board with Sambi. He does take down Henke, who was just rushing through hole, and he is going to take down Joxie as well. Nice play by Sambi. That is going to be three down. Zeb is going to be left last alive, but Skitlight like, needs to get near this flag, and what is Sambi doing? He's just taking down Junas, and I'm not sure if there was someone about Bar, but that was very pointless. They managed to get three down. They really needed to be trying to pull that flag. Yeah, that would maybe a crucial mistake here at this game. You can't afford to make mistakes, especially in the grand final. It is all on the line. I believe the prize pool for this weekend is £1,080. That's split 50%, 30%, 20%. So there is definitely a good amount of money on. Yeah, absolutely. And Skitlight have managed to finally pull that flag. 25 seconds. I'm surprised they aren't all just running back just to make sure Skitlight can get off the mark. As last time, yes, they do actually cut that nice play, but Enigma strike back with an immediate two kills. Sambi is going to kill Dizzy off one turns. Oh, that's a massive play. Takes down Henke as well. Three down. They need to be trying to pull this flag, but there isn't going to be enough time. I don't think. No, there isn't. But that was nice, nice play there by Skitlight right at the end. Yeah, another 10 seconds there, and they would have definitely pulled that flag and probably got it home by the look of it. Yeah, absolutely. Sambi <laughs> going for that final kill cam, but Joxy steals it away from him with a pistol whip of his own. And that is very nice play there by Joxy. Oh, <laughs> get turned on with the pistol. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, we're going to see how this second half goes. I think 
uh, skip like will probably step it up a little bit as it you know what I actually prefer pulling through that link Bowman, are you still there? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I just had the I had the scoreboard up there. I completely agree that yeah, pulling through Link is a lot easier. And we're obviously going to get on board with Enigma in this second side. They do have that one flag advantage, and it's it's just so interesting to see. Like you said, in that losers, uh, sorry, in that winners bracket final, they just didn't seem to be as aggressive. They didn't seem to have confidence in their CTF game, but they have just completely changed that around in this grand final. Yeah, this actually done at FMF. You know what? He's playing really well for his team. Fifteen for six. Out slaying them at the moment. Obviously, that's going to give his team a great big boost. But Joxy is back, and it looks like he's going to try and stop any sort of pressure. Yeah, that's well played there by Joxy. He has just Semtex his own teammate, but he manages to avoid that. So smart play there coming from that Enigma play. Not sure who it was, but Joxy has just seen someone to his left, and he seems to be playing on an extremely high sensitivity. I'm not sure if that's just me, but it looks like he's playing extremely high. But considering his accuracy is so good, that really would be a surprise. It'd be interesting to find out what sensitivity he actually does play on. But all four Enigma players are up, and they just need to try and defend this one flag cap lead that they do have. Whether they go aggressive or defensive, they just need to hold on. Yeah, he's like I said, he's actually playing quite a high sensitivity. I'd, I'd like to know what it is too. But kills being exchanged everywhere here. Back and forth, back and forth. Zibi trying to pick him up, but oh. does not get him off. He comes back and actually turns him there. Dizzy, oh, that is a bad start. He's done it oh, twice. He's done it twice. That oh. could be crucial here because that flag is now away. Yeah, that was poor, poor. Stunning, if I'm honest. But the flag has actually been dropped. Zebi doing a bit of clutch work. Takes down Junus back of flag. Henke takes down FMF. And Enigma really have just caught a lucky break there, if I'm honest. That was very, very lucky. Obviously, that play is stunning himself twice. Very poor play. But that luckily didn't actually cost them anything, and Zebi is able to get a little bit more map control. Takes down Moftia front bar, just pre-aiming up top. Joxy takes down FMF. That is two skit -like plays down, and Enigma are going to now get some map control. Yeah, hopefully we're going to see Enigma actually push forwards. They do try and win this number half, or actually get a flag, but they haven't been that aggressive this half. Barely able to pull into bar. Haven't really been playing like they were in the first half. So Zebi up there at the moment looks like they are actually making a push. Yeah, Zebby just nearly got that nade inside. He has just seen two, though. And FMF, nice shot there, takes down Zeb. And Henke is going to take down Junas. Dizzy is in a nice little spot, though. Just needs to take his time. Doesn't actually need to engage anything just yet, but he is going to turn that corner, takes down FMF. Now he's going to have to push it to back bar. Jumps, pre-fires. There is a guy behind him. Can he turn? No, he can't. Joxy top models, takes down Junas. Nice play. Yeah, obviously, we are on board with Zebby. With that suppressed ACR, we keep seeing him pull out. Uh, on this map, it's not too bad. The sight lines aren't that long, apart from maybe the A domination sight line. But it looks like he has been stunned there, just trying to control this middle of the map. Yeah, it's a crucial part of this map. And that Moftja has just taken down Henke. And oh, the pistol whip on Zeb. He's not going to be happy about that at all. He now has to just rotate back to green. He just got shot from behind as well. And can he get the knife? No, he can't. And oh, Enigma getting a lot of players down. And Skitlight could be pulling this flag. Yeah, Skitlight, I'm going to pull this flag. There is someone at the back. Zeb is probably the only one who's going to be able to stop it. Can he stop this flag on his own? His team need to be around him. He's heavily, heavily damaged here. And he needs to stop that. But no, Dizzy does spawn in just in time. But Zeb does get dropped. Dizzy needs to just do a bit of clutch play. He needs to make sure that flag doesn't go anywhere. The flag has been picked up. He is heavily stunned though, but manages to get that kill. Nice play, but it looks like there is one more. No, that was his teammate. Flag has been returned. Tens, tens times for Enigma. 1 minute 35. If it stays like this, it will be 4-4 four, four in this best of six grand final. Yeah, so best like Enigma are now pushing out very, very hard. This is going to pick up that kill. No, Skip like dropping Enigma three down again. Joxy's going to have to try and hold this off by himself. Yeah, it just seems Enigma are being so passive, but that's a nice shot off on Moftja. Zeb spawns in, takes down FMF, and Joxy is just going to fight for a little bit of map control now, just so his team do get better spawns. There is someone up top. He is going to take down Sambi. Nice, nice play by Joxy. Zebi also taking down a player there, bringing Skitlight to two down, and he sends someone else here. If he can drop this player, they could be going for another pull. Yeah, this is a crucial kill. Joxy needs to make it. He has just outthought his opponent, but Moftia drops and takes him down. And oh, lots of kills being exchanged. It's going to be two versus two momentarily, as Zeb is going to take down Sambi at his own tree. One player left for Skitlight. It's going to be Junas. He's probably going to be somewhere back bar. But Enigma, they don't realistically need to actually push. They can just hold. But Dizzy has actually gone for the flag, does get stunned, has some support in the form of Zeb. And he needs to actually track back and make sure they cap this. Yeah, Zebi actually coming out there with his team. To take, can he get this oh. kill? He can. Loxy also taking one down. If this flag goes home, he's going to be all over. There will be no hope for them coming back. Yeah, you can see all the Enigma players running back just to secure this cap. And they have done. That is very, very nice play by Enigma. And that is going to be a, a win for Enigma. It's going to be 4-4. Yeah, that is going to be 4-4 four, four in maps there. Obviously, you know what? Enigma taking this capture flag. Like I said, they didn't do great in the capture flags against them last time. 
yeah, they really didn't play that strong last time we saw these two in uh, Capture the Flag, which was in the uh, winner's bracket final, but grand final, they've really turned it around, and if they can hold their S&D game, you can honestly see Enigma going on to actually win this tournament. Well, we're going to run a quick advert while we take a quick break, and we will see you for the next map.